remember shooting the pilot and knowing that there was something special. You know, a show like this, which typically would be pretty niche, has kind of exploded, certainly after the second season. Like I thought after series one, we were done. So I like, when I was like saying goodbye to people, I was like, oh, it's been amazing working with you. Maybe we'll get to work together someday. I remember being in Toronto and just walking down the street with a friend and I was wearing a mask. And I was also wearing glasses, by the way, like sunglasses. Somebody pulled up with a car next to us and they literally said, uh, excuse me, are you Guillermo? And I was like, oh, what? Are I did get stopped the other day in the street and uh, they just wanted directions. Yeah, I took my time giving them the directions to give them time to maybe you know, clock that, you know, I kind of wafted my hair around a bit, hoping, uh, sadly, they, they didn't speak very good English. And I gave them the wrong directions anyway. Matt, Barry, and I will occasionally try stepping on each other's lines and ruining each other's tape just because we both get a kick out of it. I love working with Natasha so much because she will try something new and weird every time and she will get increasingly vulgar with each take. She's really brilliant. Mark loves to pretend that the crew are always complaining about my smell. So he'll always say things like, Tasha, they've asked, they've asked you to not use the toilet. Or Tasha, I've asked you to, to stay outside um, for this take because the smell. And that really makes me laugh. He's honestly one of the funniest people I've ever met, you know, off camera and on camera. But no one makes me laugh more than Kayvon. We once had a take in season one where the, the scene should have taken about two to three minutes and we just improvised for about 26 minutes straight. Going in from door to door, like uh, calling out Guillermo, and then he'd go into the different room and I'd come out master, and he left, so I would leave and he'd come in. It was just like, you know, uh, uh, Benny Hill, like, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, like running around moment, which is hilarious. If I could have a vampire trait in real life, probably flying. I really think I would love to just like pick up and go and bat. Turning into a bat? How you, that was going to be so useful. I could have gone straight to Wuhan, chatted to the other bats, found out which one was the one that leaked the virus, saw it out, come back, told everyone. I guess I'm going to go with vaporizing. But then once I was a vapor, could I unvapor myself? I, I know Nandor can, but if it was my first time vaporizing myself, I might get stuck just, you know, living the rest of my life like a fart. <laughs> or as a fart. Thank you.